When it comes to his children's education, comedian Maz Jobrani is all over it. Where is he? First of all, I put my kids in private school because I thought that meant that I would pay and they would take them. <laughs> oh, hell no. You go in for the interview, they go, are you willing to be involved in your child's education? I go, I thought I was paying you to be involved. <laughs> my child's education? They go, no, at this school, we'd like you to be involved. They go, okay, I'll be involved. They go, how? Okay, oh, um, okay, uh, I'll drop them off. And if they do well, I'll pick them up. If they do well. And when he's not picking up his kids from school, he's doing comedy, hosting a podcast, and acting. He's been in movies such as Disney's The Descendants and Friday After Next, and most recently on the sitcom Superior Donuts. Please say hello to Mr. Mazro Brani. Hi, OG. How are you, OG? What's going on? Oh, my gosh. Such a pleasure to meet you. I said I wasn't going to come in today to work, and then I saw you were going to be here. I was like, I am not missing him for the world. Just so you know. Oh, gee, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to believe that so that I, it helps my ego. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> I promise you, I'm not telling you a lie. Okay, so I do watch your Persian <laughs> Word of the Week post, right? So I learned the difference between auto boost and boost. Because you yes. said auto means is car, boost mm -hmm. is kiss, but auto boost does not mean kiss a car. It means boss, just like in Spanish. You are so, you are the best student ever, OG. I am proud of you. Straight A's, ladies. Yes, A's. yes. Oh, but can I teach you something, though? I'm Igbo, right, because I'm Nigerian. If you put uh -huh. an I at the end of your first name, it becomes Mazi, and that means Mr. So you're Mazi Jobrani. Mr. Mr. Jobrani. Mazi Jobrani. I like that. I you know. Call me Mr. I'm gonna, I, I'm, go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, wh where, where'd you say you're from again? I'm Nigerian, but I'm from the Igbo tribe. I'm gonna go to Nigeria and I'm gonna hang out with the Igbo tribe and everyone's gonna be like, hey, mister, hey, mister. I'd be like, that's They'd right. They'd be I'm like, Mazi, Mazi. Right. You mean like, they'd be like, Mr. Mazi, Mazi, Mazi. Jobrani. That's you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I so love you're. It. I, love I, it. I remember the last special you had was Immigrant on Netflix. That was like a couple of years ago. But now your latest is titled Pandemic Warrior. Where and when did you film it? And are you calling yourself a warrior because you automatically started feeling all the sim symptoms as soon as you hear it? Is that the deal here? <laughs> Well, first of all, yeah, how about all of us? Like, in the beginning of the pandemic, every time they mentioned the symptom, I thought I had it, right? They'd be like, if you have an itchy throat, you might have the coronavirus. I was like, <laughs> I think, <laughs> I th every, I swear, OG, they said if you have an achy body, you might have the, pan uh, you might have the coronavirus. I'm 49 years old. I've been aching for 15 years. <laughs> no, I thought I was, I thought I was patient zero. I was like, oh, my God. So, Here's the thing, I, um, I've, I filmed the beginning of, uh, well, most of the special was filmed in Dubai, December 2019, oh, and I was going to come back in 2020 and release it, and then the pandemic hit. And then I would see uh, specials that were filmed before the pandemic that were coming out during the pandemic, and it looked like they'd been filmed on Mars because there was an audience sitting next to each other, they're clapping, they're laughing, no one's wearing masks. I was like, what is going on? Mm -hmm. So what I decided to do was, I went and did some of my, because during the pandemic, we were doing shows in like a closet, uh, you know, uh, you know, in the, in the corner of the house. So I took some of that. I took some clips of me doing stand up at the house in a closet. And I put that at the beginning of the special. Oh. And then I go, now let's go watch the special as it was shot in Dubai. And then at the very end, I come back to the closet and finish the show. So basically this special was shot in Dubai and in my closet. Only you can pull that off. Only you, I, well, only, hey. you, only you can make it happen. OG, people were performing every, you name it, we were doing it. OG, I did, I did, I did shows at like, uh, they had weed dispensaries in California <laughs> where they would give people blankets and they would like give them chairs and like some weed and they were, it, it looked like <laughs> the, the end of, a, of like the Walking Dead, like, like the zombies were coming to get us and we're doing one last show before they got us. <laughs> and I did shows, I did drive-in shows. Drive-in shows were the worst because you'd go stand on stage and if they, if they liked your jokes, they had to honk at you. Uh -huh. so, so you got used to hearing honks for laughter. So then afterwards, when I'd be driving around LA, if somebody honked at me, I'd be like, thank you very much. <laughs> so, but you know what? Things are looking bright though, aren't they? There, I like how you worked that uh, out. You know, sir, I try sometimes. So talk to us about this tour because you're going all over the place. You're going outside of the United States, you're going to be in the U.S. and right here in our area. You're going to be in New Jersey in the fall, and you're also going to be in New York as well. So, so excited for us. So where are you going to be? Where are the stops? OG, as you say this, I'm starting to fear like the CDC is going to like come out and be like, put a warning on me. You must avoid this guy. He's no. going all over the place. <laughs> Do no. not get close to him. <laughs> no, 
I'm va vaccinated. I'm vaccinated. I did the, my Pfizer vax. By the way, I don't know about you, but like when I talk to people, I go, you vaccinated? They go, yeah. And then I try not to judge, but I judge. I go, which one? They go, Moderna. I go, oh, good luck to you. You know, like, <laughs> you know. People, they go, they go, uh, you know, uh, AstraZeneca. I go, oh God, you need better, you need better health insurance. Um, but here's the thing, I am no, I, I'm happy people are vaccinating. I'm vaccinated, so I'm touring. I'm doing my shows. I just did the Dubai Comedy Festival. That was fantastic. And then I'm coming back to Caroline's, my lovely Caroline's. I was actually supposed to be, yeah, I was supposed to be coming to Caroline's when the pandemic hit, and I had to postpone everything. And here's the crazy thing, OG. Back then, in uh, you know early 2020, when it stopped, when the when everything went on under lockdown, nobody knew how long this was going to be. Yeah. So there's videos on my phone where I'm sitting there doing videos, like postponing my tour, and I'm like, "Hey guys, Maz Jobrani here. Listen, I'm going to be postponing my March dates. I'll see you April 23rd." And then like April 23rd, there's a okay. video of me. This April 23rd, it's not going to happen. April 23rd, <laughs> I'll see you May 15th. By May 15th, there's a video of me crying. Guys, it's never ending. I'm at home. My kids have taken over my house. They, they, they're zooming but, and booming and gooming. See, the great thing is, like, you're going back to comedy, but you also take us back to school with your podcast, don't you? So how, like, what is it that you don't do? You look great in suits. You cut your own hair. You like funny. You're like a runner. Seriously. Where can OG, people catch your I, podcast? <laughs> no, OG, first of all, the podcast is called Back to School with Maz Jobrani. It's a chance to talk to really interesting people about all kinds of interesting stuff. We've had everybody on there. We've had... We've had a, a guy who helped land the rover on Mars. We had a woman who is a cave diver, goes underneath uh, glaciers to find organisms. We had Michael Cohen, Trump's former fixer. We yeah. talked politics. We talked history. We had Robert Reich, economist. We have the right. We have the left. We have them all. And it's free. The best part, OG, it's free. They can just subscribe. So. <laughs> all so right, that's so the podcast. I just saw what you did there. You said you have all these interesting people on there. I've never been on there. Thank you for letting me know how uninteresting I am. It's okay. All good. I understand. This I am is, not interesting. You are, which is, is why invite. people need to check out your tour. His Things Are Looking Bright comedy tour is currently on the way. He'll be in New York June 24th through June 26th at Caroline's on Broadway. For tickets, go to masdrobrani.com. You can also check out his comedy special, Pandemic Warrior, currently streaming on Peacock. Did I get that right? You got it right, Mazi. Mazi, 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 Jobrani, everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, I love him. Dan he and Betty. He has such a fantastic. good energy, right? He's so great. Right.